Hi guys, today I have some news for you. Uh, let's start with the first one. I got a lot of feedback from you guys after my water stop video. I will uh, publish the link here. I even made water stops for some of you guys, but I couldn't help everybody because everybody, not everybody has an existing stop uh, for measurement. After talking with Christian Gunn about it, he asked me if I could do a database for water stops because that would be pretty useful for so many people out there. I really liked the idea and started uh, this website here. Uh, the design of the website will change soon, so don't worry about it, it's gonna look better. So if you have an existing water stop and want to support this project, please visit the website and use the form to send all the measurements and the scan. I will bring them in a usable form and publish the measurements and the scan uh, on the website. So everybody can cut them out by themselves from cardboard or if you're interested, I can print them for you. By the way, there is uh, a more accurate way to calculate f-stops of lenses than I showed you in my last video. It's explained here in Gerald Andan's video, I will link it here. Uh, I will go on with the calculation like I explained it because it's easier and still fine for the wet plate process. For the wet plate process. There's also a field in the database about how the f-stops were calculated so you have an idea how accurate it is. Yeah, and Christian and I will uh, try to figure out how to reconstruct water stops if there is no scan available. And as soon as we have a good solution, I'll let you guys know, okay? So now I want to talk about something very exciting, really cool, guys. So maybe some of you know that uh, Steve McCurry was a big inspiration for me. And it's also because of him that I got into portrait photography. I remember how I was amazed after I saw his portraits for the first time. So when I heard about this uh, exhibition of his work in Graz, I knew I had to see it. The cool thing was that he was also there in person for an artist talk. So this was another thing I needed to attend, really. I was so excited to see him for the first time in my life in person. I enjoyed the artist talk a lot and afterwards Mr. McCurry signed books and spent some time with everybody. He signed two of my books and also uh, posed with me for a selfie. It was so cool, guys. He's such a nice, per friendly person, very relaxed and felt also down to earth. Uh, thanks to Atelier Jungwirth for organizing this great event. Uh, and now I have to tell you guys about the exhibition. <laughs> I really have to take time for that. As a photographer, I have seen many beautiful exhibitions out there, but I have never experienced something beautiful like that. I'm not kidding you guys. I got wet eyes after I entered the room and saw this amazing setup. It was unbelievable. I just like to see an exhibition with big portraits. Who doesn't, right? But this is like a different level. The smallest portrait is like 2 by 3 meters and the biggest one is 4 by 6 meters. For a single portrait, there are like 133 of them there. And now comes another part that amazed me. All these images are backlit and the backlit images are the only light source in a 2200 square meter room. No reflections, just poor portraits of Steve McCurry. Really cool, really. Just imagine 1100 square meters of portraits in a 2200 square meter room. Let's sink that in guys. Anybody who has the chance to visit this exhibition will be sorry if you miss it, really. You have to go there guys. Even people who are not much in photography will get goosebumps after they are in the room. You know, I don't want to call it a one-in-a-lifetime experience, but otherwise, where would you be able to see something like that? For real. I put all the infos about the exp exhibition down in the description. And thanks again to Atelier Jungwirth for organizing such a great experience. To give you guys a better idea about the exhibition, I'm allowed to show you a flight through the exhibition that was shown during the artist talk. So enjoy the video right now. Thank you. 
again guys, go there and see it in person. It's really worth it. It's an amazing experience. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon down there to support the channel. And I'll be back guys. Thank you.